Hey guys, this is Plutonium here and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today's tutorial is not going to be like all the other redstone tutorials because behind me I am not going to be showcasing any kind of full build today. Like in my previous videos I have talked about making bee farms, about making piston doors. Today's video is not actually going to be about a full build, it's just going to be about a part. And today's redstone build is a triple piston extender. You can see that this one is a vertical form of the triple piston extender and that one is the horizontal one. And both of these designs are my original designs. So beginning with the triple piston extender which is vertical, I will be giving you the tutorials or showing you the tutorials one after the other. Beginning with the triple piston extender which is vertical, this design is quite compact. It's only three blocks wide and three blocks long. And even for this small build, there's a lot of observers because I absolutely love using observers in my builds. So this one is quite observer heavy for even like a really small contraption. This is compact and this is really fast in the retraction. So if you flick this lever, we'll be seeing the full extension like that. And this is the most exciting one. When you flick the lever again, this is the full retraction. And everything happens so magically fast that in, it happens in literally the blink of an eye. And if you just missed it, here's a slow-mo. This design absolutely blows my mind. The retraction is so satisfactory that I would just like to sit in front of the lever and I'll just keep spamming it on and off and just keep watching this retraction all day. So, I have been working on lots of triple piston extender designs, on the vertical ones, on the horizontal ones as well, and uh, this one is by far the fastest and my absolute favorite. And the retraction time is a ridiculously fast 1.2 seconds. That is incredible. And it happens in like a flash. So yeah, let's move on with the tutorial for the triple piston extender which is the vertical one. So as I'd mentioned earlier, to build this triple piston extender, you need a 3x3 area which is right in front of me. And to make it in survival, this is the exact list of items that you would need. 4 sticky pistons, 10 observers, 5 redstone torches, 2 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone dust, 1 lever, 10 blocks for a redstone and any number of blocks for decoration. So let's begin. To begin with, you need to come to the front and in, on the middle block. So there's 3 blocks, you need to place a temporary block on the top of the middle block, another temporary block and a block on the top. Now you can remove these two blocks. On this block, you're going to place your lever. So this is your activation point. Next to this lever, towards any one side, and choosing the right, you need to place a torch like this. On the, block, on the top of this torch, you need a block like this. To the side, again, you need a torch. This is going to turn off. Another block on top of that. Then on, a, then on the side of this block, you need another torch. Block up there redstone torch and now you're going to place one of your decoration blocks up there so that's going to be your flow now what you need to do is you need to place your pistons so next to this block you need to place your first piston and two more pistons above that so one two and three and then you can place one of your decoration blocks right there so that is your extension circuit so if i flick the lever the pistons are going to extend perfect now what you're going to do is you need to place a block here Another one, a temporary block, and then one on the up, and then one on the top. Remove this block. On this block, you need to place redstone, and then a repeater set to 4 take delay, like that. Now you need to place a redstone torch on the side of this repeater. You need to place a block on top of this repeater. Sorry, that's a, that's a redstone torch. And next to this block, you need to place a piston like that. So that should extend. Because currently our lever is turned off. Or at least turned on. <laughs> so now next to these, the, the piston arm and the body, you need to place two observers like this facing towards these pistons. On the top of this piston, you need to place another observer on the arm of that on the face of that piston, which is also looking towards these blocks. Now you need to go come to the other side, next to this torch, this one. You need to place an observer there. Then 
another observer facing towards these pistons. Now you can cover these dots using a block. You might also do one thing is that you're going to place, you're going to crouch in place an observer on the top of that repeater looking through that repeater. Have another observer like, the, like that going upwards. From this observer, you need another observer going backwards. And from this observer, place another observer towards this pistol. On the top of this observer, going towards the back, you need to place a repeater with 3 tick delay. You need to have an observer looking at that repeater like that and place a block. Surprisingly, with this you are actually done with the vertical triple piston extender. So we had the extension right now and if you flick the lever again, you are going to have the full retraction which is excellent. Now you can just finish by placing some of your decoration blocks like there, right on these blocks. Now you don't need to place a block there because there's a block underneath. So even, even if you place that block there, it's going to be pushed up by the triple piston extent and it will never come down. So you can already see that this design is flush with the floor. So this block is actually one block lower than the floor. That's not a problem. You can even use this to make some kind of a secret hidden entrance like uh, an elevator going to a secret hidden entrance, what you might do is you need to place some blocks like these around the triple piston extender itself. You can place some blocks for your flooring and then you can just place some more walls. What you can do for the remaining thing is that you can place a ceiling on top of this. So right here, you need to place your ceiling and uh, you need, you need not place your ceiling on this block because that is going to be coming up here. So it will be like a hidden, ent hidden entrance, like an elevator. So how is it going to work is if we actually press the lever again, you will see that the pistons will extend, thus closing in the entrance over there. Now if you flick the lever again, this triple piston extender is going to come down and you have the elevator to take you down to the secret entrance. So. That is all of it for this tutorial of the triple piston extender, which is a vertical one. Now, let's move on to the horizontal piston extender. In front of me is the horizontal triple piston extender. This design is not that compact because there is a bit of observers just leaking out of the 3x3 footprint. I was really trying to fit it within the 3x3 space, but just couldn't help it. I mean, just couldn't, just couldn't do that. And now we have these two observers coming out of the you know the redstone contraption and uh, that does not matter because this extender still works that's the extension if you flick the lever again we will see our attraction this is not exactly as fast as the other one but it is all right i've been working upon lots of other horizontal piston extenders different designs but i think this is the most compact so that's why i'm going to showcase you this triple piston extender rather than the other ones so Let's move on with the tutorial for the horizontal triple piston extender. So for the horizontal build, you are going to need a, an area which is 5 blocks long and 3 blocks wide. And if you want to make this design in survival, you are going to need all of these items. So there's 4 sticky pistons, 1 regular piston, 3 observers, that's, that's not 3, that's 8 observers, 1 redstone torch, 6 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone dust, 1 lever, 1 transparent block like a slab or any kind of glass. 8 blocks for it's time to go on and one block that your piston extender is going to be pushing. So let's get cracking. So to begin with what you need to do is you need to come to the bottom left corner of this area. You need to place a block here with a lever on it. Now you need to place blocks like these with one block of gap between them. Between these gaps you are going to place repeaters set on two take delay. So that's one and there's another one. Now you need to place your sticky pistons over there. So one, two and three and you're going to grab your block that is going to be pushed. I'm going to be using an iron block here. That's our block that's going to be pushed. I actually grab our redstone blocks back. So this is the extension part of the triple piston extender. So if you place, uh, if you press this lever, we have our full extension. Now what we need to do is we need to go to the back. So now we are going to be working with our attraction part. What you need to do is you need to place a redstone torch like that over there. In front of that, you need to place a piston, a sticky piston, like that, with an observer on its face, which is facing upwards. Now you need to place a temporary block over there, and another one, then you can remove this one. On this one, you need to place redstone like this, and a block next to it, but one block lower, 
need to place a repeater set to 3 ticks. In front of that, you need to place an observer, so you need to crouch and then you need to place your observer which is looking towards these pistons. On the back, or actually in the middle, towards these pistons you need to place another uh, block and a repeater on it which is set to 2 ticks, right there. From this redstone dot, you need to take an observer like that, a block behind the observer, now you need to place a slab here. So why are you actually going to place a slab? Because if you place a full block, this torch is going to actually power back into this piston which is going to break our extender. On this, you need to place a repeater again on 3 ticks. Now from this observer, you're going to take an observer again, like that, and an observer facing backwards. But that one is facing upwards, this one is facing backwards. On the dot, you're going to place a block like this. Now you're going to grab your regular piston. And this is actually the very first piston that I'm using in 10 different YouTube videos that I've been posting, <laughs> that I've posted on my YouTube channel. So this is literally the first ever regular piston that I've been using in a tutorial. So now what you need to do, for the final attraction you need to place an observer here, from that observer, and then you need to place another one here, and one facing downwards into this. Well, this is not exactly the piston that's going to power. So we are finished with our horizontal triple piston extender. So we flick the lever again, and we see we have the full attraction, like that. So this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you liked this. I hope you liked my designs. And if you did, please leave a like down for my video. And please be sure to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.